Okay, so what is dynamic? What is a dynamic market? What is an evolving market? Um, to put it simply, we have a traditional and then have a modern capitalist market, right? The traditional was the market that was under the monarch. So going back, I'm not going to do an entire like history lesson on this. Um, um, you can just go and search uh, for September Wales Magna Carta and it'll give you like a good reference as to what went down. But long story short, um, you have a monarch where everyone owns land. Oh, sorry. You've got a king that owns land and then you've got a bunch of people that kind of semi-own land and you've got the people at the bottom that can never be wealthy. And... That was essentially it. So those people were pissed because they, no matter how hard they worked, there was no way they could ever become wealthy. Like, you're either born wealthy or born poor. That's it, right? That is the the um, market that... Um, it's early in the morning. This, so that is the market that Karl Marx was speaking on when he spoke about the capitalist market. He was actually speaking towards a monarch. Or, and I'm saying capitalist market because you can have a monarch and then you can have something that's not quite a monarch but operates almost like a monarch, right? Um, where you've got elites um, and so on, right? So the main issue that originated was that there was no way of creating wealth. Now, this was like pre-industrial revolution, and so on, basically. But then, and pre-business. So once you had things like tech um, and business and industrialization coming in, you could build a business. Going back, you made you made money off labor. But you could only produce X amount of units per day. Like, physically. If you're making swords, you can't make like 100 swords a day and then make 300 swords the following day. Right, it takes a process. You could, it, there was no scaling, etc. Like that was not something they knew about. So that was all under the traditional capitalist system, where you could never be rich if you're not born rich, because the only way you made money was through um, selling units of something, and then you had to pay taxes to those above you who were the elites. When you got into business and introduced industrialization, tech, business, etc. That system changed. And then now you've got to switch to modern capitalism, right? Now, in modern capitalism, you can be, everyone's witnessed this, you can, it's possible for you to be born average, middle class, even poor, and make it, right? Um, that is something we've seen multiple times. So it's not an impossibility. But the communist um, manifesto obviously doesn't tend to that because that wasn't possible at the time. So this is why I said the capitalist system evolves, right? And it's constantly evolving. When you've got tech coming through, it's constantly evolving. The internet comes through and now you've got people making money off the internet. You've got forex, people making money off forex, people making money off investments. People making money of teaching online classes. People making money of selling goods online, even though they're physical products. And the list goes on. All of these were impossibilities at the time. So now what's happening is you have a person who's a communist who's, who's speaking on a system that is evolved, but they're still using old age arguments of that system. There are instances where you can use um, old age arguments because systems haven't changed, right? But that is not the case when it comes to capital markets. But again, communism hasn't changed, right? So now the person who's a communist hasn't changed, but the capitalist mindset and market has changed. But because they don't know un or understand capitalism, they are using the traditional capitalist markets or understanding that Karl Marx used in an age where it no longer exists. 
So that is the main problem of communism. And that's why you can't beat it because they're using an argument that no longer is valid. Um, last point: you cannot be in business. You can't be in business and and be um, a communist by definition. The minute you get into business, you're going to be forced to be a capitalist because your aim is to make profits, not to exploit. But we should get to that soon.